No, hold on. What you see here is a TP, monosulfate TP. Now this, the way it's drawn out, a squiggle and a P, meaning this phosphate groups have high energy. So we're going to discuss a little bit more on what it means by having high energy. But first, let's look at the phosphate box. This is how phosphate um, bond looks like. Once it's hydrolyzed, it releases energy. Now, these, there's nothing special about these bonds. Um, they're just regular bonds. But what do they mean but why do you mean by these bonds having high energy which can be a bit misleading let's look over here um first of all it's misleading because you don't get energy from breaking these bonds from uh, breaking the phosphate bonds. You don't get energy from the direct breaking of these bonds. But where you do get energy from is from, first of all, I have to mention that bond breaking requires energy. It's always, always endergonic. Okay? So you can't get energy just from breaking a bond, a phosphate bond. But where you do get energy from is from increased resonance, stabilization, and salvation. Relative to the reactants. Relative to the reactants. So the. So it's the. Product. That are more stable. Than the reactants. So that is where. You get the energy from. Let me show you what I mean. So, let's draw a graph. This is going to be the reaction coordinate. And this will be the energy associated so delta G the products start out over here then they go through their transition state and they end up over here so the difference right here that is where the energy comes from where energy is released right here the difference in energy between the products uh, products and the reactants okay so this is delta G 